morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Chioka and we're about to create some really dope images. Can you let them know where to find you? Oh yeah, you can find me at, at Steel Frame Designs and at Chokes101. All right guys, now enjoy these behind the scenes. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are back. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Before we get to the photo shoot clips, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about how the concept came together and show you and talk about a couple of the pieces that um, basically were a part of the project. So if you guys don't know, I am from Arizona, so I've been basically born and raised here my whole life with the exception of like a few years moving around here and there but for the most part i am a desert baby okay so i figure it was long overdue for me to do a desert type of shoot i wanted to bring a little bit of oomph to it so your girl got going and put together a mood board and when i put together the mood board i took inspo from a lot of different places but I wanted to be sure to bring my own type of vision to it. I didn't want to just recreate somebody else's shoot or recreate somebody else's idea. I wanted to bring my own little pizzazz to it because I have like a lack of a better word. So I'm going to say pizzazz. So I was extremely excited about it. This idea originally started as a desert bikini type of vibe that I wanted to do and then I changed my mind I wanted it to be more high-end I feel like it's super easy to just do a bikini type shoot have the body oddy 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 and um, <laughs> I wanted to bring a little bit more of like a fashion type of look to it so I put together this mood board right here and I reached out to a photographer that I felt like could execute my vision exactly, if not better, and that was Chioka. You guys will see him in the remainder of the video as well. But he executed the shoot more than I could even imagine. I was blown away when I saw the final images. But I do want to talk about some of the pieces in this video because it's important to realize that you don't need hundreds of dollars to execute a bomb ass shoot. And to execute any idea you have, you can literally think outside the box. And that's what I did. So the first thing that I came across was in my mood board, I saw fringe type of gloves. So. Your girl was looking everywhere to try to find some and so I went to Jeff Bezos and I was like I need some fringe gloves and if you guys don't know I mean that's just me saying I went on Amazon <laughs> and I found some fringe gloves and I did not know if they were gonna be able to fit your girl's arms okay like I got some muscle okay so I was just like hopefully they fit that's the wrong glove hold on <laughs> I was like, hopefully they fit, and they actually do. So this was a brand new item that I did purchase for the shoot, and I think these were roughly $20, and ow! I just uppercutted myself, but anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> so I think these are like 20 something dollars and as you can see it's a vibe okay it's a mother vibe all right and um, they do fit so if you are worried that it's not gonna fit your arm it fit my arm so yes and um, they're not too tight they're breathable I will say this they sweat a lot though like your arms probably gonna be stinking when you do pull it out so just a warning on that but what I did to kind of air them out after I did order them is I just turned them inside out I've also sprayed Lysol spray which is a disinfectant spray on them and it helped but this is the quality of the gloves the fringe is all intact 
and I would say they're really good quality so that was one of the brand new things I ordered I knew that since I didn't want to do the bikini idea anymore that I wanted to kind of bring something else to it so I had this corset already this had this is like four or five years old so I had this corset when I wanted to be um, a vampire from Chris Brown's wall to wall type video for Halloween so that this has been used several times on several different projects um yeah so this is the corset I also added different black ribbon because it was a little bit thinner and so I just added a better quality ribbon in the back and I think this I I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon years ago too so this was no added cost to the shoe. I already had it in my archive. I think if you go on there now, it's like 20 something dollars. So yeah, the gloves were brand new. The corset I already had. So at this point, I had only had the gloves and the corset to kind of make this idea come to life. So your girl was scrambling. The shoot day was coming up. I didn't know exactly what I wanted. Um, to do to like hurry and make this happen so your girl did what she knows best I went to the thrift store okay and if you guys seen my baddie thrift haul video I went to that same exact Goodwill and on the drive there I literally was speaking to the universe like please universe let me find a silk skirt let me find boots that I need and whatever else I need so the universe brought it to me! I found exactly what I was looking for, which was a silk skirt. It had this little slit right here, and I believe that this skirt was only $8. I think it was like $8.98 or something, so <laughs> that worked out fucking amazing. And then looking for shoes at a thrift store is a hit or miss sometimes. Especially because it depends on what size you are. I'm a seven and a half, so I went there looking for cow for some type of cowgirl boots. I had no luck. I went to Boot Barn. I went to many other places, and it was out of my budget. So when I did go to Goodwill, I came across these, and at first I was like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna be the vibe that I want. I'm not sure, but it did have silver little accessories, and they were leather. So it really kind of just brought the gloves back into the vibe. Like it, it kind of balanced what we were going with. So I ended up getting these boots, tried them on. They were perfect and they fit around my calves, which was amazing. And they also have this adjustable buckle right in the back too to widen it if you need. They zip up right here. But yes, this is the quality of the boots, y'all. And I was just like, okay, $12, what? So the boots were $12, and I was just like, that's exactly what I need. That is exactly what I need. Um, and then the last thing, well, second to last thing I found was this belt. And, you know, the corset and the skirt idea was great, but I felt like it was missing something. It needed to be... I don't know, some something to bring it a little bit more western. So randomly I came across this. This was at a whole separate Goodwill. And this is made out of leather as well. So it kind of started to tie all the pieces together. We have silver accessories also. So it snaps like this. It's a little interesting. It's a little unique. And I believe this belt was five bucks. So very good quality. All the pieces were very great. That was the outfit, and then I also <laughs> went to Boot Barn, like I said, because I originally was looking for cowboy boot or cowgirl boots, and didn't have any luck, and then I saw the price tag on the boots, and I was like, woo, did not expect that, but um, we all know the cowboy scene, uh, they be making money. Because I seen the prices in that store and I was like, ooh, I can't afford anything in here. So, um, couldn't find a cowboy hat, couldn't afford one there. I was not about to drop $80 to $100 on one. I also did see some on Amazon, wasn't in love with them. So, 
Um, I ended up stopping at Target and that was like I think the second day before the shoot and I came across this hat right here. These were in their like little spring collection area but they had been marked down so I think they were from the fall. But this is what the hat looks like, you know. Um, we have like a little flat brim. We have another leather accent piece right around it. I was originally going to bedazzle this and all of that good stuff, make it really pop, but on a time crunch, you just gotta make it work. So I just left the hat as is. The hat and the gloves were the only brand new thing that I bought from this entire wardrobe because I just felt like they were just too difficult to find thrifted. So um, the hat actually was $12. It was marked down. It originally, I think, was like $25. So $12 for the hat, um, $20 for the gloves. The belt was $5. The shoes were, I think, $12. The skirt, I believe, was $8. We'll round it up to $9. And the corset, I already had. So this photo shoot altogether was really affordable and real doable if as long as you are able to like step out of the box of your idea kind of flow with what you can find and really just make it your own also the hair that i use on the shoe i totally forgot to mention the hair um i actually did a review a few months ago on it so if you guys want info on the hair the 30 4 inch, 36 inch <laughs> blonde wig, honey, uh, that goes down past my booty. Um, there's a whole review on that unit, so I will definitely go ahead and leave a link. Leave a link over here, okay? I got the right corner. <laughs> so I will go ahead and leave a link over there, and you guys can check that out also. But I just wanted to come over here and let you guys know the reality of how I brought this shoot to life. And I wish I would have documented it and vlogged the entire thing, but I felt like that would have been just like an hour long video. And I know I want to keep, keep it short, get right to the point. So maybe next time as I do plan a concept and try to like go through the motions of bringing it to life, I will document that a little bit better for you guys to kind of really see how it evolved during the entire thing. But that is exactly what I came up with and I'm excited to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the behind the scenes of this video and show you guys how your girl was feeling the day of and yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, showing me love on these videos and also showing the photographers love and all the other people that I'm going to be collabing with in the near future. So be sure to check out Chioka and his work. He is a photographer located in Phoenix and be sure to check out my IG also. If you're on this channel, this is your first time coming across, welcome to the fam, okay? We are all about self-love, self-growth, creative-ish, and all that good stuff, okay? We're here for laughs, we're here for a good time. Life's too short, honey, so. Thank you guys so much for listening to this little part of this video, and enjoy the rest of the behind the scenes. Mwah.
guys so before i end this video i want to leave you guys off on some advice i was so nervous to do this shoot obviously i was gonna have to be like outside i know with the location like this there will be people probably looking and everything else so i just want to remind you that sometimes the best thing in life is getting out of your comfort zone and doing the shit that you love no matter what anybody else says you can have the power to create your own reality as soon as we were taking these pictures and the desert started to turn gold i honestly felt like I had been led to this moment from my higher self. This is something I'm so passionate about. And if I'm here on this earth to help anybody push themselves out of their comfort zone and go after the things that they want, then I've done my job. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, babes, and kill it. Sending you guys nothing but the best.